Mouth still full of food, and she leaps up from the table. Goodbye, Mom. Gordy and I gotta go find some new friends and play hockey. As Ben Scrivens reads a book to kids about inclusivity in hockey, he's coming from a place of personal experience. The former Oilers goaltender knows hockey culture and has been in countless dressing rooms. He says you never know who's part of what community and might be nervous to be themselves. Being able to, to use pride tape uh, to put yourself out there as an advocate and say uh, to the people in your dressing room, in your fan base, in your community, in your family, uh, I support you, I love you, and, and I love you in the way that you are. Scrivens was thrilled to hear the NHL is reversing its decision to ban players from using certain hockey tapes tied to causes. I think the NHL did the right thing. Um, I'm happy to see that uh, they took feedback from um, important stakeholders and, and they adjusted their, uh, their policies appropriately. So it's a celebratory day here. The NHL statement said after consultations with the NHL Players Association and the NHL Player Inclusion Coalition, players will now have the option to voluntarily represent social causes with their stick tape throughout the season. The league's 180 comes just days after Arizona Coyotes defenseman Travis Dermott chose to defy the ban using pride tape during a game. I don't think we can underestimate how significant that moment was for him as somebody who could be at risk of losing their job, easily demoted or blacklisted from playing in the NHL. Um, it takes a real strength of your convictions to stand on your principles. Pride Tape's co-founder Christopher Wells hopes the policy reversal sends a message to young kids like these that anyone can play the sport. Slowly we are changing hockey culture to show that one day hockey can be for everyone. I don't think we're quite there yet. Uh, there's still a lot of work to, to do, but we do want to uh, acknowledge uh, the NHL for reversing this decision. Sarah Ryan, Global News.